Hi, welcome back again to Kitchen Possible right here in your kitchen and ours. Today, we're going to talk about lasagna cupcakes. My wife said, why don't we do something fun and easy and quick? This is a simple, easy recipe that anybody could do. It makes a great party, uh, uh, great, great item to bring to a party for to get that wow factor going. You know, sometimes you just want something different, something like easy and light, maybe small that you can pick up with your fingers and eat. They call it finger foods. And so that's what we're going to do today is lasagna cupcakes right here at Kitchen Possible. So thank you for tuning in once again. So you're going to have to have some pizza sauce. You're going to have to have some ricotta cheese. You're going to have to have some shredded mozzarella cheese. And once again, you're going to have to have your wonton wrappers and I have here some Johnsonville sausage mild but right now I have a, have a pan heating and I put some olive oil in there and I got it nice and hot so we're gonna get our sausage going here in the pot and then it's gonna be some goodness because I like to put sausage in my wonton or uh, lasagna cupcakes Then I like to chop up an onion, some mushrooms, whatever you want to be in that meat mixture. Maybe you want some uh, sweet peppers or jalapenos. You want a little kick to it, some spice, whatever you want. You put right there in your sausage while it's cooking or your ground turkey or whatever type of meat you're cooking. So we're going to do that now. Now, once you have your meat all browned up or whatever you decide that you want it to use as your main stuffing and main filling and other than the cheeses, the mozzarella, the ricotta, you want to get it off the burner and put it in a bowl and have it ready to prepare our lasagna cupcakes. I get it all nice and browned up here. Some of them onions begin to sweat down and oh my god, everybody in the house is like, what are you cooking? Oh my god, it smells so good. Of course it does. It's lasagna cupcakes. There's nothing like the smell of Italian. All those flavors, you can smell the, the oregano and the onions and the garlic and your sausage and the fennel seed that's in the sausage. Everything begins to just put out an aroma of goodness all through the house. And it'll, it'll bring about some salivating, I'll tell you that. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with several heaping spoons of sauce here. This pizza sauce. Because I like to put a lot of sauce in there. Set my sauce back over here. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to put in my sauce is some sugar that I have here on the plate, some red crushed pepper, some granulated garlic, and some Italian seasoning. Here's some pepper. And I'm just going to put those seasonings. I already put them on a plate. I, a lot of times I'll do this to get everything ready. Makes things go a little quicker. So I'll just go ahead and add those to my sauce. At about 325 degrees for 
I don't know, I would say 15, maybe 20 minutes tops. You'll be able to tell because the tops of the corners of the wontons will stick, that are sticking up out of the cupcakes will begin to crisp and brown. And all the goodness in the middle will begin to bubble. And then you'll be like, wow, and you really smell them. And then you let them cool and you put them on a plate and you serve them up. And we're going to show you that here in a short. But right now I'm going to show you how to prepare those. So you're going to get your cupcake pans, however many you feel like you're going to make. And you're going to get that out. And you're going to use some cooking spray. And I like to use the olive oil, non-stick cooking spray. You're going to give each one a little shot here. All right. Then, you're going to use your wonton wrappers. So we're going to get a nice little stack of these wonton wrappers. You're going to want to layer your lasagna cupcakes by pressing the wonton wrappers down in the cupcake pan like this. I'm going to walk you through one of these and then I'm going to show you very quickly how to do this. This whole thing shouldn't take you more than 10 maybe 15 minutes to prepare from start to finish and it makes a wonderful 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 appetizer, main course, uh, party, uh, favor, if you will. You want to get these wrappers down in here. Now the trick is, you layer it just like you would any other lasagna. Only once you layer, once you put in your filling, the next layer you're going to want to put it, if you started out putting the wonton wrapper like this, you want to put it this way, 90 degree turn. Each layer you want to turn it 90 degrees. And then you push it down, just like this, forming another cup, if you will. Alright, now this time I'll start out with my sauce. Then I'll put my meat mixture. Remember, I told you you can use vegetables if you don't want to use meat, that's fine. You be the creative chef in your kitchen. Everything is made to your taste. There's no exact science or no exact recipe here. A little ricotta. Maybe you don't like ricotta. You can use two or three different kinds of cheeses instead of ricotta. Maybe a little bit of Parmesan. And some mozzarella. And then when you go to your next layer, you want to go 90 degree turn. And as you can see here, you're going to see these little points sticking up here. And that's what you want. And basically you're going to get about three layers. And then you can top it however you want. Maybe if you want to get fancy, maybe you slice up a, a zucchini and, to, to make it look like slices of pepperoni. Or maybe you just top them with pepperoni. Or you don't have to put any meat up here at all. I'm just going to finish these with a little bit of meat up here. Maybe put a little mozzarella. And then I might dust a little bit of Italian seasoning on there. Or red crushed pepper. Now I'm just going to quickly make up all these. In the fast way to show you how they're done. So.
you want to, you can top them with pepperoni. I cook these at 350 or 325 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And that's what you have. There's your lasagna cupcakes. They're baked and they're, they've already come out of the oven. I'm going to show you how to plate those up. This is what they look like when you're finished. Lasagna cupcakes. And basically, you're going to be able to grab these corners here. And they'll lift generally right out. You may have to get a spoon. And just take them off the edges here a little. And they'll lift right out. The trick is to make sure that they cool. If they cool, then they'll lift right out like a nice little cupcake. Just like this. And there you have it, lasagna cupcakes. Don't they look good? Hey, check it out. Wasn't this fun? This is easy. Remember, you, you have to be creative in the kitchen. Think outside the box. I had some, I bought some big egg roll wrappers because I want to make some fried pies. I think I want to try that out. So just don't think inside the box, get out, Stretch out a little bit. Move to the left or to the right. Don't cook the same old thing all the time. Extrapolate from your comfort zone. You, your, your possibilities are endless. It's your imagination. Be creative. Let the best part of you shine. Remember we've talked about in videos prior to this that maybe you cook because you just have want to express love to others. Well, you can do that through your cooking. and Check it out. That is all we have today right here at Kitchen Possible. Be sure to email us like you have been at kitchen.possible at gmail.com. Visit our blog at kitchenpossibleshow.blogspot.com. And be sure to face friend our Facebook page. And when you look at this video, subscribe to us right now. And let your friends know every week. On Monday and Wednesday, we'll have a new video, a new show, and then we're going to do some other shows. In between, the, uh, during the summer, we're going to go to some fairs and check out how to cook some fried goodies. And it, you know what? It's time to go right now, but you take care of yourself. Be blessed throughout the week and share the love. And as always, taste the love.